Hi Dan, this is Tony. Doing a critique on your landscape shots. I can see that these are primarily cityscapes and uh, that looks great. Um, <clears throat> I'm very happy to see that the uh, first few shots here are the exposure compensation shots because uh, I think that's going to be something that's definitely important for you to uh, use perhaps in your future photography because um, there's a lot of times when you are shooting pictures if you're shooting and then all of a sudden you decide that you need the image to be lighter or darker being able to use that exposure compensation uh, can really come in real handy so um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to, over the course of this next week, take these three images and put them together in HDR so you can see how that would look. Okay, so let's get to your next landscape shots here. Okay, so uh, real nice <clears throat> composition with this building. Um, and, and, and certainly exposure-wise, it uh, looks just fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I like the fact that as you're looking up at the building like this, that you uh, um, that the uh, the angle that you shot it at gives it an added interest, and that also that the reflections in the window, uh, you get that zigzag effect from the uh, reflections in the window. Uh, the negative space over to the right of, in the sky also nicely balances out, and so uh, in terms of the image, uh, very nice, good composition. I love shooting pictures of downtown St. Louis. So, um, and uh, you picked some really nice um, areas to shoot. <clears throat> Ever since I uh, first came across this big head of this big sculpture that you shot here, um, I've always been kind of fascinated with that. So, <clears throat> I like seeing this in the picture. Um, uh, the, you know, and I hope you got a chance to experiment with uh, with this kind of with this head. Uh, you know, getting in closer, get you know, moving back farther away. Um, you know, it's very intriguing, and uh, I like the relationship of the head being sort of in the foreground, and how it relates to the buildings in the background back there too. So um, very nice. So <clears throat> definitely, whenever you get a chance, you know, definitely push this in terms of. Composition being able to, um, you know, use that head to frame, frame things up, uh, or use the buildings to frame the head. Uh, anyway, but uh, so much can be done with the, with that uh, that head. I just I really like that piece of sculpture and that little sculpture bark that's that it's in there too. So, <clears throat> and of course you have um, some of my uh, favorite buildings to shoot. In this shot here with the, uh, I guess it's the Cleve Gas Building, I think they still call it that. And then what used to be the old Ethel um, Gasoline Building, the one that's down the bottom right corner down there, um, which is on the historic um, architecture in St. Louis. Uh, you know, it's just, I love seeing those kinds of shots. Um, and uh, also, of course, you know, being able to see the arch reflected in the, the Cleve Gas Building. And, um, <clears throat> and of course, you know, as you look at a picture like this, uh, you always, th you can also think of, you know, in terms of cropping in tighter, um, you know, and doing some other things with that reflection. But uh, just as a shot as it is, uh, it's nice to have these kind of, uh, rectangles, these, these boxy rectangles in the, in the way that you uh, have them composed here. So um, that works quite nice. Good exposure, good composition. Uh, this next one with the arch, love this, love this shot. i um, wondering if you did anything in Photoshop to enhance the, uh, the blues here. Uh, the blues and the, and the white puffy clouds. Um, beautiful, beautiful shot. And um, of course, love that you also uh, shot it with a little bit of an angle like that, not the traditional kind of way that most of the art shots that people shoot are, are taken. But uh, the fact that uh, 
you've got the arch kind of splitting it halfway diagonally. Uh, really, is kind of a, a works very well, and uh, the uh, the saturated blue and the puffy clouds uh, add that extra nice, really graphic snap. So, love that shot. Beautiful shot. Going down to the next one here. This one's nice. Um, like the fact that the uh, the building on the left frames the cars coming uh, in your direction. Kind of like the the lighting at that, that time of day when you got a little bit of kind of mysterious lighting mixing with the um, <clears throat> mixing with the street lights. So uh, that's nice. And uh, go down to the next one. <clears throat> and the next one, not, not as strong as your other ones. Um, you know, the fact that you can kind of see those street signs. Uh, uh, I guess the, um, the lighting down, you know, up in the sky. Um, not as strong as the one just above it in terms of composition, and always tough whenever you have something where you've composed, uh, you basically have the picture, your element, your, uh, right in the center. Uh, in this case, <clears throat> just doesn't have the same kind of nice kind of compositional um, uh, feel, a sort of dra dramatic tension that you've had in some of your other shots here. Um, but, uh, you know, in terms of exposure and everything, uh, that looks great. Um, and then finally, your last shot here. I'll scroll down here. Let's see why is it selected. Okay, all right, there we go. Um, and this one, even though it is centered, uh, the fact that the clouds frame the uh, image, frame the uh, your building here, uh, really adds a, a beautiful effect. So in this case, centering your subject is not <clears throat> doesn't hurt you, you know, in terms of interest in your picture. Um, and some of it has to do also with the play of light, you know, with the uh, the blue sky, the uh, puffy clouds up there too. Uh, but very nice and dramatic. So all in all, a great a great job, and. Um, I will uh, be working on everybody's uh, HDR pictures this week and uh, look forward to your next assignment. Thanks.